Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting news. You see this in front of you. These are Bendmark Pro 40 um, ring rollers. These are designed to roll angle iron up to 50 millimeters. Three phase machine, big bulky mother humper. And I've just won it on an auction site. You can see how it works there. Your angle sits in between these sections here. I've just won it on auction. So that means without a doubt that the new brewery build is gonna be a go-go. And I also picked, uh, picked this banding and strapping machine up as well. Very exciting, very exciting. But this is the big money. And uh, I don't tell you what I paid for it. 3,000 pounds. <coughs> you didn't hear that, did you? But I believe these are six, 7,000 pound new. So I'm hoping that it's money well spent. And of course, once we've built the brewery, I've still got the ring roller, which we can sell. It's an asset for the company. I keep trying to justify it to myself, but we were paying a couple of hundred quid per ring to be rolled when I had some stuff done in the brewery. There's gems, look. So now all I need to do is roll 30 rings and this has cost me nothing. Do you want any rings rolling, boys and girls? Hit me up, hundred pound a ring. Anyway, today we do have another job to do. And that is repairing some fence panels. I'll just turn the light off in the office here. So we've got to repair some fence panels next door. I'll just shoot down and uh, I'll show you the damage. Bacon gesture today. It is on the boil already. Gemma's digging out the mash tun as she does, bless her. And this is the last brew. That's all eight tanks full this week. So these are the panels in question. These two are all right. But this one is described as the Jenga panel because just one piece comes out and several follow. As you can see, it's rather uh, trashed. So we're going to pull these out today and replace them with these five foot vertilaps which weren't too bad, 35 quid each. Not too bad at all, not too shabby. And then this week, or next week should I say, we're going to start blasting all this wall off and then repainting it, repointing, jet wash the table, sand and varnish and I've got an idea for this wall, for a big logo to go on there. So that might be something that we do this week as well. Uh, this year, such should I say, this year. So first thing I have to do is measure up the size of this short section here. <clears throat> oh, that's gonna be rather awkward because this is a cut panel at, uh, at 12.20 by the looks of it so it's not a full panel in there like these I think what we'll do is we'll remove all of them first and then I'll start that and fit that and work our way backwards my bloody extractor's noisy so we managed to get everything on I actually used an ingenious idea of some um, electrical cable clips, you know the new ones, the fire resistant ones to use as clips to clip all the edge of the fencing in I think that looks spot on, let's have a look it's these bad boys here so the D-line these are obviously fireproof cable clips that you've got to put in these days for any new electrical installations and it's worked perfectly we just screwed them on to the end of the uh, main support and then screwed through the edge bits. It was a very easy thing to do. And then if we're gonna look down the line, I think we're 
as close as we need to be for a fencing project. Straight. Not too sure about these silly looking top bits, but I mean, I could come back and chop them off if I needed to, but I don't think I need to. I'm happy with it. I reckon I've earned myself a beer. What do you think? I think so too, mate. I think so too.